All right then, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Welcome to the second episode of Hull City Transfer Talk. This is for Friday the 14th of August. Today we're going to be talking about Angus McDonald leaving the club. Couldn't agree a new contract. Jordi Device has moved to LA Galaxy, getting blocked by the club. And the signing of Richie Smallwood and a lot more rumours as well. And we'll, we'll be discussing squad numbers because the boys have started pre-season now, which is very nice, very nice. Got some new signings in, it's all very good. And I've invested in a new bit of equipment. Uh, the other, well, last week it was annoying me having to change hands all the time. So I've got myself a little, uh, little tripod selfie stick thing, which I can just put my phone on. And yeah, it's a lot windier than it was last week, so if you hear a bit of wind feedback, I'm sorry, but let's crack on then into the uh, the things that have happened this week. I've got it all written down on a sheet of paper here, and I have been away this week, but I've still been keeping up, don't you worry. So we'll start off then with uh, Angus McDonald leaving. Now, it's not someone who I wanted to see go, it's certainly less than favourable that Angus has left because if Device left uh, he would be in my um, list for who could take the armband he looked on it straight away once he came back from his twin it must have been I think it was like 22 months out he looked on it straight away against Charlton he was ready to put his body on the line and that's what I like from him there's a reason Nigel Adkins made him vice captain. And it's disappointing that he, his time's been limited in a whole city shirt. Uh, he, he described it on Instagram as a roller coaster of emotions. And it certainly was for us fans as well, seeing him have to go through everything that he's gone through with his divin thrombosis and then being so close to getting back. Pre-season last year, he was there. He was recovered. I was, he was just doing some running about with the fitness coaches. He came over to me and Ethan, and well, then he was so close. He was about two weeks away from a return to full fitness, and then he gets diagnosed with cancer, which doesn't help out anybody really. But yeah, Angus, I'm sad to see him go because he was a brilliant, brilliant player. At the start, he was a bit rusty and wasn't very good but Angus you could tell why Adkins made him vice captain why Adkins put his faith in him and signing him once the season resumed last year so Angus good luck to you wherever you go I think he'll end up at a championship club somewhere apparently it was to do with length of the contract which couldn't agree on because the club were only only offering um, two-year deals at this point or two or three year deals the club only offered Angus two and he wanted three and it's very similar to William but with less money uh, wanted a three year contract was only given a two so William's joined Arsenal and Angus McDonald has left Hull City but Richie Smallwood is who we're going to move on to next he signed very pleased with that signing McCann said he wanted leadership McCann brought in leadership. He's got experience at this level, which is absolutely imperative when you're trying to go back up. Because this team, it's very youthful. It's very youthful. Our oldest player is McGuinness, and I think he's about 28, which just shows how young this squad is. You need a bit of experience. Smallwood's 29. So he's, he's not a spring chicken in football terms, but he's a few years away from retirement as well, which is certainly certainly something um, I, wa I want him to retire with us I think if we keep him until he retires mate, phenomenal so I'm really pleased with that signing we'll get on to his squad number in a bit but I am extremely pleased you're right I am extremely extremely pleased with that signing but now rumours some of these are from some very very unreliable sources to say the very least so you've got a 
take everything I say with a pinch of salt. Today, I'm going to tell you what sauce is, so you know I'm not just making up absolute crap. But, who knows? Starting off then, Luke Murphy. I've just done for my bit of paper. <laughs> this is very hard to do, because it's so windy, you can probably hear it. It's absolutely... It's flapping all over the place. I am having such problems sorting this out. Um, nearly there. But, I believe... Got it. Got it. Fantastic stuff. Nearly got it. Have got it now. So, Luke Murphy. Uh, we were supposedly after him. McCann said he wanted the leader. Everyone thought this would be Luke Murphy. However, I don't think that's going to happen. EFL Hub reported that we were trying to hijack his move to Crew. After leaving Bolton, he uh, is training with Crew. Crew Alexandra. We'll be playing them at some point this year. Um, but that is absolute rubbish. There's been no sign of that whatsoever from any more reliable sources than EFL Hub. So, yeah. Anyway, this one is, is actually been confirmed by the manager of the club this guy could be leaving. So the Daily Record reported that Rangers attacking midfielder Greg Doherty is a target for Hull City. Tigers would want the 23-year-old on a permanent deal with Grant McCann looking to table a bid this week. Rangers manager Steven Gerrard doesn't regard Doherty in his plans, but Doherty is in no rush to leave his boyhood club. My paper's just absolutely gone on a mad one here. There we go. Um, Doherty joined Rangers from Hamilton Academical in 2018 and has been on loan to Shrewsbury and Hibernian. Both Shrewsbury and Hibernian are interested in, uh, in buying him. So, and, and um, Gerard, Stephen Gerard, Rangers manager, has indeed confirmed that Greg Doherty is in talks with us. He said um, after the match on Wednesday, when they beat St Johnson 3 0, it, it was Tuesday or Wednesday, that um, he was in talks with us and he said early on, I think it was last night, that he's still in talks with us which is certainly very very nice um next up hull live reported something hull live reported something from an unreliable source on twitter called tim mate i can't i can't exactly kick a ball at this point um with some fans <laughs> come on all city Come on, old city! <laughs> anyway! <laughs> Come on, old! Anyway. Come on! Out of out! I'm trying to remember my out. Come on, you yeah. gunner! Come on! Come on, you gunner! Harris, fuck up! Listen, guys, I am white! <laughs> right. So, um, us and Peterborough United. Once I've finished, I'll come back round. Doing a transfer talk thing. Um, so, Hull City and Peterborough interested in Nottingham Forest striker Tyler Walker. Now, Hull Live reported on this, Hull Daily Mail. However, the original source was somebody on Twitter by the name of ex agent James Goodwin. So, it's probably absolute crap. And um, today it's been revealed that Lyle Taylor is having a medical with. Um, Nottingham Forest, so that could free up Tyler Walker to uh, to uh, to um, go somewhere else. Lincoln are also interested. He's got a very good record in League One. Scored plenty for Mansfield and some for Lincoln as well. So it's very very decent. You never know. It's probably absolute rubbish, but you never know. Um, another one from EFL Hub, we've got uh, a number of EFL clubs including Grimsby, Us, Portsmouth and Leighton Orient are keen on bringing Craig Noon, ex-Cardiff midfielder, back from Australia, currently playing for Melbourne City. Craig Noon got experience at the, uh, 
championship level, so he'd be good in League One. He's getting on a bit now, but I'm, he, I'm sure he'd still be fantastic for us. So it's certainly one which I'm, which I wouldn't turn my nose up at. If he was to come in, he'd had some very good experience and would possibly be a replacement for uh, Leonardo da Silva Lopez because Leo hasn't turned up to pre-season training. Nobody knows anything. He's just not been in any of the photos and a couple of people working at the city's training camp base in Edinburgh have said not seen him at all, which is certainly very odd. And Leo, as I reported last week, has been targeted by West Brom and by Leeds. And I think he's sort of angling for a move now, Leo. Um, so, yeah, if Leo goes, it's a bit of a sad one. But good luck to him if he does. But yeah, Craig Noon. I think he'd be a decent sign, to be fair. Um, Craig Noon, decent little player. And certainly wouldn't turn my nose up at that. Uh, according to Football League, well, this is the last of the in rumours. Um, Hull City are one of three clubs looking to sign Leeds United central midfielder. Robbie Gotts on loan. Blackpool and Huddersfield are also interested. Now, this would only be a loan. He played for Leeds against Arsenal in the uh, FA Cup last year. And looked very good. Looked, looked very good. So, would I want him? Yes. Yes, obviously, some fans are saying, oh, no, it's Leeds, we don't want him. At the end of the day, he's someone who's got good potential. Yes, we're developing him for Leeds, but we won't play Leeds for a while again now. We, the only time we'll play him is in, like, FA Cup and whatever. So, it's just a, it's just a case of got to take what we can get. And I think it'd be a good signing for us. Again, could be a Leo de Silva replacement could get about the pitch, can score, he can pass, he can do a lot of the good stuff that a central midfielder needs to do. So it certainly wouldn't turn my nose up at that one. I've said that a lot today, haven't I? Now that's the last of the in rumours. Now let's go to the out rumours. According to De Telegraph, the same guys in Holland that reported Jordi Device leaving Hull City for LA Galaxy have reported that City have blocked Jordi Device's move to Los Angeles. He won't be swapping Beverly for Beverly Hills at this point in time. Yes! Don't want to lose our captain. Don't want to lose our captain. Um, uh, Galaxy value him at 400k but City value him a lot higher. So that is where the disagreement has led. Wow. So that's the only out rumour this week. There's still been links with Leo de Silva, but I reported that last week and nothing new's come out about Leo, other than he's not turned up to pre-season training, which again could angle, well, could suggest that he wants to bugger off. Uh, anyway then, we're now out of squad numbers. This is what will get this video to 20 minutes. <laughs> I, I think, you know, pay attention to this because if there's some of you out there who might be like me, might love your squad numbers. In FIFA career mode, in football manager, I, I, I spend a lot of time on my squad numbers, not going to lie to you a lot. Because it's something that represents a player, you know. Messi, give him 10, Ronaldo, 7, Mbappe, 7. Obviously not in the same team. You know, it's just something that resonates with me and how you recognise players. So, so far, looking at City's pre-season photos, I've picked up some of the numbers, but not all. So, George Long is keeping number one. Device is keeping four. Burke is keeping five. Malik Wilkes goes from number 43 to number seven. Batty keeps eight. Eves keeps nine. Scott goes from 44 to 11. Josh Emanuel, new signing, has got 12. Ingram keeps 13. Samuelson gets 14. Tafazoli gets given 16. Sean McLaughlin keeps 17. With uh, Honeyman keeping 18. Lewis Potter has been given number 19. Keen Lewis Potter. Uh, Brandon Fleming has got number 21. Jacob Greaves, my boy, has got uh, number 24. With Festus Arter getting number 25 in his first year for the club. 
Josh McGuinness keeps 27. Harvey Cartwright, who will be our third choice goalkeeper this season, has been given 41. And Callum Jones has been given number 47, which he held last season. Oh, <laughs> I need to get control of this again. So now you may be noticing, Joe, you've not got like number two, number three, whatever. This is what I think will happen. So Long's got one. I imagine that Louis Coyle will take number two. I think Callum Elder will take number three. Uh, I can imagine Richie Smallwood getting number six. There's photos of him, but he's not got any number above like the umbro there and on his shorts, which the other lads do have. Um, I think I think number ten will be reserved for either um, De Silva if he stays, or Greg Doherty if he comes in, or just someone else who comes in. Um, number twenty, that'll just be reserved for a new signing. At twenty-two, I reckon Max Sheaf will get given that one. He's been, he was wearing that when the lads were in Cottingham for the first day of pre-season before they went home to Edinburgh. Now you've seen photos of Sheaf, but he's either got a bib on or he's hidden behind other guys, so you can't see his number. Um, who else? What other numbers are there? Uh, 23, I don't know to be honest, I said yesterday that Festus would get 23. That hasn't happened, has it? So 23, we'll just have to wait and see. It was Stephen King's his last year, but he isn't around anymore at the club. He's not dead. <laughs> um, then we've just got the blanks. Just got the blanks, really. Because we've not. Because I think once we pad out the squad a little bit more, we could have um, could have a little bit more. What's the word? Could, the squad numbers could be a little bit more padded out. Anyway, that is that is it. Oh, I'll tell you what I have done. I've missed a rumour off. I've missed a rumour. Because it's on the fold on my sheet of paper there, look. Um, according to EFL Zone at first, and then it came from Hull Daily Mail, Hull City have had a bid rejected for Exeter. Uh, Exeter City winger slash fullback slash wingback Randall Williams. Now, Randall... He's he was very good for Exeter in League Two last year. Made it in the team of the season, was very very decent for them. And obviously Exeter didn't go up. He wants to move on to a bigger things. Rotherham are also interested. Nobody knows how much the bid was that City had rejected, but Ehab splashing the cash. I passed a yacht on the motorway today coming home from North Yorkshire, where I've just been staying in a cottage. Was that Ehabs? <laughs> nah, I'm only kidding. Anyway, that is it for Hull City Transfer Talk for Friday the 14th of August. Thank you all ever so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye! Up the Tigers, come on!